Damn! Yonder just pops off. He's wilding. Bro, he's got me immersed, bro. Y'all already know I had to go and break down Yonjun's dance practice to his new song. Honestly, good luck to me because I'm going to cover it. I still gotta go and film it, so it, it, I'll post it very soon. That, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, let's get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go, baby. It's a great opener. That walk and the formation switching gives such a dramatic effect. Strong start here. You could literally tell from the very beginning that Yonjuni's dancers are just gonna pop off in terms of energy. Damn that forward! That footwork though! Great scrolling effect here with the two diagonal formations. Oh shit, here we go. Damn the thrusting, dude. So most of the chorus is actually going to be a polyrhythm, and I'm, I'm going to explain that. Damn! Yonder just pops off. He's wilding. Bro, he's got me immersed, bro. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, let's go back from the very beginning, and I'm going to explain why this is such a dramatic effect and why it has its impact. The reason why it has such a dramatic effect along with its impact to basically set the tone for the entirety of the dance practice and engage us like w with the audience and keep us watching is not just the walk, but actually the formation, like the switching of the formation, like the line switching, right? So we could just have, honestly, Yandri just walk by himself right at the very beginning and then the dancers come in. But I think the line switching actually adds uh, to the walking. And this is how I'm interpreting it is that, oh, He's walking with intention, right? He's walking through uh, an obstacle. And what this obstacle is, is the line switching. And he doesn't care what's in front of him because nothing's going to stop him from performing. So that's that's how I interpret it. And I think it's really cool because he's like, it's he's not afraid to just keep on walking. And essentially, obviously, the formations are not supposed to hit him. But it gives that illusion like he doesn't care what's in front of him. He's just going to keep on walking until he gets to perform. Like, damn, bro. Like, he's, he's him. <laughs> I like that roll off, effect, uh, roll off effect that they do. So they have this like head swaying motion before they actually start expanding into their new formation. Damn. <laughs> Super strong start here with the bass. And here's a moment here and I'm gonna explain that in a bit. So that super strong bass from earlier, it's it's such a great start because it's like that's when the bass comes in for the song, right? You hear like a kind of a build up up until they actually start doing choreo, right? So here they do an effect and essentially Yonjun's gonna like hit this table. Like imagine a table being hit, he does this, and the dancers are actually gonna hit a lower level to give that move a bigger effect. Love that. When we get to this part right here where he's doing something slow and the other dancers are actually doing sharper movement, this gives us a contrast. And what I mean by this is that we're not being overwhelmed is what I'm trying to say. The flow work. And what I love about the flow work here is that it's seamless. It's very fluid. There's no, they're like, obviously there's stopping points to the flow work, but what's cool is that it's just, it's seamless, bro. Like, they got strength, man. Man, my knees would be... I'm sure their knees are bruised. Man, that floor work hurts, especially when you're, when you're on your knees, man. Like, that shit's crazy. Here's another example of just, like, straight-up balance in terms of, like, giving us choreo, right? So we'll have fast movement, and then we'll have moments where they slow it down. Even though it still seems fast, there's going to be moments where they slow it down to not overwhelm us with choreo, like fast movement, essentially like overstimulating us, right? As watchers. So here, so it's gonna be right here where it starts. They're doing essentially faster choreo, slowing it down here and picking it up with the footwork. 
great picture here there's specifically i wanted pause because you don't have to always have your dancers do a bunch of choreo all the time you could definitely use the extra bodies to create nice formations or nice pictures like this to do like nice reveals or highlights for for so, like a solo or someone that's centered and that's another thing that i want to explain about this practice is that the only time you're really going to see them dance all together in like one formation is the both the choruses most of the dance practice you'll see them moving around in formations and using the space uh, around them which i really like and obviously i don't mind if everybody just does choreo throughout uh, throughout the entire thing but i think this is such a nice change of pace because well it's yonjun solo so why not and it also is a different type of creativity for the performance directors and the choreographers Great, again, great scrolling effect that they do there. And what I really like about that is the illusion of Yeonjun actually traveling further than he actually did. And so the reason why he looks like he traveled further is because the formation was moving up while he goes back. And then on top of that, there's a ripple effect at the very end of that formation. And they're also hitting the claps in the song while they're walking. Right here. So seamless, right? Damn, bruh. <laughs> so the very first part of the chorus where, where it's the thrusting and shit, it's a polyrhythm. So the, the constant motion that's coming from that is actually the thrusting. And then there's a different motion. What they're doing is the hand movement, which is the sharp movement, and then the head rotation. And so it's like essentially three different layers. And so a quick explanation of what a polyrhythm is is Think of multitasking and dance, and it's like this. This is like the a visual I could give you, right? It, it takes a lot of coordination because it takes, it, it's, you're, you're having to tell your brain to do something different while the other body part is also doing something different. So that's why it's a polyrhythm. So again, the thrusting is the constant motion while you have the sharp movement from the arm, and then you have the slow movement, that one slow movement from the head rotation. Damn, bruh. <laughs> so aggressive with it. And I like the strength in their arms here with this groove that they're doing here. Here's another polyrhythm. So the constant movement is coming from the legs and then the other movement that they're doing is the body tilting that they're doing on each clap of the song. The energy from them, man. Nice V formation here. Great levels. I like that group for some reason. And again, we're working with more formation changes, staging effects, rather than everybody doing the choreo all at once. Another ripple effect using that, using the claps of the song. God damn, bro. They wildin', they wildin'. Damn, the bass is too. So, I'm gonna talk about, uh, I'm actually gonna just talk about the, the second chorus here. Uh, there's not too much to talk about within like the the section all the way to the second chorus but i what i will point out is actually that v formation so we're gonna get to the v formation super quick so here's the v formation right what's what's really nice about this v formation is actually the change in levels in each window i believe so so let me double check oh right here this is like a cool like dynamic to add in a formation where if you're not going to do a formation change, you can add levels to the dancers to create just more, like more substance in the formation. So this is cool. They're all hitting like each line is just going to go and hit a diff a lower level while the other dancers will at a high level to just give us like, again, more substance within the formation. I like that. I like that. Now let's get to the second, uh, second chorus here, actually before the chorus. So the ripple effect. Again, 
they're using the claps of the song to go and like start activating the like the roll off effect and the this basically the walking or the stepping of the entire thing until they get to the formation of the second chorus. Okay, if you guys don't know what this is called, this is called a jazz split. If you want to learn it, put how to how to jazz split on YouTube. There's going to be a ton of tutorials. Be prepared to, you know, stretch your legs and shit and don't injure yourself if you're going to try to learn it because I've been, I've been practicing that just so I could cover this song or yeah, cover this part of the course. All right. Anyway, let's go back to the let's go back to the very beginning of the course again. There's a cool detail that I want to show you guys. Uh, so while obviously Andre's gonna do something different right before the like the main chorus, right? What a really cool detail that I saw just right now, actually, literally as this like I I watched this a bunch of times before I could before I recorded this, so I could give you guys like the moments that I want to show you guys is a little uh, the wrist flicking that they do, and this is cool. It's minimal. It's not distracting, but it still adds to the formation. And so it's on the go hit that. I'm just gonna play it a couple times, just so you guys can see it. <laughs> and so this very moment uh, i think within the second chorus really shows the strength of yonjun and his dancers so this is very important they match each other really well and we we obviously know that yonjun is a professional like he's 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 an idol and he's a great performer right but they this cast of dancers is was well casted because they really match that energy that they need to be at with Yeonjun, right? And it's, it's crazy because like this part, right, even though they didn't do the jazz split, like this part right here in the chorus is just so strong to me. Like it's a lot of strength, right? Super clean, including this body angle right here with the kick. Like they're all hitting that same angle. Look at that shit. That's y'all are wildin'. Great balance too. Great balance. No one was like tipping over or anything like that. I like how they use the hip movement here to actually condense the formation in a little bit, so to travel. Now, here's the same polyrhythm that I talked about earlier. So here in this last part, right before we actually end that second chorus, is that they hit these three bases, and I like how he shows aggressiveness within that. Yeah, it's hard to hear in this version of the dance practice because they didn't overlay it with music. You just hear the speakers, right? It's the hand movement that they're doing here. So here, here's one more thing before we actually move on is that what's important with the head swaying here is that everybody's got to be on time, but also not only that they have to be on time, they got to sway at the same speed. So you could still be on time, but you could also sway at a different speed. So it's very important here to be clean, to give that illusion that they're synchronized. Everyone's got to sway at the same speed and also obviously be on the right timing. I love this moment where it, I just love that moment from the very beginning too. So I, love, I don't know who that is. But what I really like about this dance practice in general is the cheering. Now, this is really important. Now, I'm going to explain why. Damn! It goes crazy, bro. So, I'm going to talk about it real quick, though, why the cheering is so important. So, if you guys know who's behind the camera or, like, I want to say it's staff... That's really all I could think of. Maybe the choreographer, the performance. I'm gonna think the actually gonna assume the performance director as well is probably behind the the camera. But the cheering along with the dancers and like Yandre is also cheering, right? It gives you so much more energy. Uh, the reason being is like when you're performing on stage, right? And this is relatable to me. I'm not a, obviously I'm not an idol, guys. But I performed on stage before, and 
I can tell you guys that when the audience is screaming throughout your performance, you gain a lot of energy and adrenaline. So this is almost the same idea when your teammates are cheering you on and your dancers while you guys are doing uh, the choreo because it now gives you more energy and you're feeding off the vibes off each other. And that's why I think that last part of this dance practice is so fun to watch because of that. So even this formation right here, I think it, they're not really doing all the same choreo, but they're supposed to just go into this circle formation. Obviously he's center and they're just throwing his energy at him. It's just like, they're just parting it up here. <laughs> Love that. And so they get, they create chaos with this, with this circle formation, right? And while she's screaming, <laughs> uh, they also do chaotic movement with their arms and they essentially like unwind from this circle formation. And then they're going to slow it down right after again to give us contrast and balance with the movement. So the cheering here, again, really important. Cause they be, like this is an energetic dance mode, they gotta be tired as hell. So I said before we move on to that part, the right here where they're doing this like snaking movement, Yeonjun does a really great job cause he's, he's already tall, all right? He's already tall. He does a really great job of actually hitting their levels right away like he's using his core to get down to their levels so that way they can start doing that snaking formation on the way back up the taller you are the harder it is to actually hit levels luckily i'm a short dancer it i don't really have to do that much to to get to my like a lower level damn yanjun just got a strong core man <laughs> damn so I like the way they end it there where they're like smacking and just really throwing the remaining energy that they got left. And then they do this like, sp I think a spin. They're kneeling down and he's the only one standing up. This gotta hurt, bro. Yeah, their knees gotta be bruised, bro. <laughs> their knees are bruised. But yeah, I mean, like I, lo I love this last part just mainly because they're really feeding off the energy off of each other. Really throwing that energy that they have left. And you still have... The cheering from the back and just that's so fun to watch yeah see I, I would be like that too yeah you're the clapping and shit such a fun dance practice to watch i hope you guys learned something from this dance practice today i know there's a lot of details that i was just like talking about but you know it's i love talking about it and yeah if y'all love txt if you if you love yonju and fees your bias don't forget to subscribe i'm out